So I got a piece yesterday. I think it was this one. What I do is I put a flag up. And I got another piece. I think it was this one. A bit further up. I found an old dig hole walking around. Somebody definitely found a piece of gold there. So I put up a flag. You put your flags up. It gives you a visual. And they line up perhaps where an old creek bed was. Then the idea is you walk back and forth up and down that strike. So there's a bit of a strike which I proposed was uh, an ancient riverbed. So I got one, two, and there's an old dig hole further up. Big loop down this way and got a piece about 150 meters away. We walk back to the strike. Got two more bits. Let's have a bird's eye view for a better idea of this ancient riverbed strike that I'm on about. Okay, so I'm on to my next target. It's a little cluster here. Let's see if I can find out where that is. It's pretty obvious when you look at it. That it's a little cluster there. There it is. Seven, three, two, four. Well, that tells you something's going on. Right here. I got my first piece of gold for 2023 here on my first walk through this cluster of high geochem results. After a couple more bits, I proposed that I was on an ancient creek bed with the nuggets lining up almost perfectly. So the strike's here, and it goes right back to the truck. So there's definitely an old channel here. So here's the take from the little run I found. Uh, you know, what is that? Probably not even a couple of grand. But there's definitely a little run. Technically, it really should be chained up. You know, run at least uh, maybe 10 chains across the run. You know, maybe a 10 meter grid through here. So the problem is the pieces are small. And it, there has been other people here. Because there's a chain line over there. Old big hole at the top. I walk around for a few more hours. But basically, this is a job for the 6,000. Maybe with a bit more patience. But there's definitely a gold run here, which, which needs to be investigated. It'd be nice to get a bigger piece. The nuggets are small, they're fairly dispersed. And uh, I suppose if the gold price was $3,000, $3,080. Can you imagine? But, you know, I'm out here to find a big patch. This is the time to find a big patch of gold. So I might leave this another day and uh, continue on with my projects. So when you find a piece of gold in new country, you gotta move your camp and claim it for your own.
So I moved camp uh, right to the gold. You know, you always try to camp on the gold. And I've gone through with my rake and raked all the rocks out of the way. So I've got a nice clear path. There's a couple reasons. Obviously the first reason is that I walk on rocks all day so when I come back to my camp I don't want to stumble on rocks. Uh, secondly, I could possibly have done a little better place to camp because this, this old log here It's got so many holes in it, there could be anything in that log. So at least I know if I see a stick on the path, then I'll have to check it and make sure that it's a stick. I normally don't camp by these old logs, because most of the snakes I've seen have been the winter time burning big logs on the fire and the snakes jump out and they're not very happy. Okay, the next installment in my adventure will be posted in a couple of days. Please come back. Should you appreciate my efforts, please click the small prospector icon in the lower right hand corner to subscribe. It's free to do so, no obligation whatsoever, and helps me a lot to grow my channel. Also please click the like button and leave me a comment. Cheerio, P101.